Hey, what's going on guys? Michiganer Man Rob here. And today, I am in Paris, guys. The Great Paris. Nah, just kidding, guys. I am actually in Paris, but I am not in Paris, Paris. I am in Paris, Michigan. And we are going to check out some historic sites like the one you guys see behind me right there. That is the fish hatchery. And we're going to check it out. Let's take a look. The Paris fish hatchery, guys. Opening in 1881, the Paris Fish Hatchery was the state's second fish rearing agency. This area was se selected because of its abundant sources of water and excellent railroad connections. The Paris Fish Hatchery was a major supplier of salmon and brown trout fingerlings. Fish in milk cans painted a distinctive red were shipped throughout the state in railroad baggage cars, the most famous of which was the Wolverine, which was used from 1913 to 1938. When motorized vehicles began to dominate shipment, the Work Progress Administration, WPA, renovated and expanded the facility in the mid-1930s. It continued to operate until 1964 when it was closed by the Department of Natural Resources. And this site was acquired by the Mikasa County Park Commission in 1973, refurbished as a park, and reopened in July 1976. And that is the original fish hatchery from 1881. It's been fully restored. Pretty cool. beautiful park here in Paris Michigan guys this is Paris Park and check out the fish And here we guys we have in Paris Park is the 20 foot tall Eiffel Tower in Paris Park. And this was built in the 1980s from some high school kids. They built it out of bed frames. In the 1930s the government housed workers here before this was a park. So they lived here and did their whatever their government work that they had to do here. And they slept here in the 1930s. By the 1980s they tore down the bunkers where the government workers slept. And the kids thought it would be a good project to take on and they saw all the beds, the frames and everything. And they took the bed frames and did a welding project and turned it into this the Eiffel Tower so all the all this whole thing is made out of beds out of bed old bed frames the steel bed frames feet tall. Oh, this is pretty cool.
constructed by Chippewa Hills High School Welding Shop for Macosta County Council for the Arts. Located on site by Macosta County Park Commission. Oh, that's awesome. This is the Muskegon River. Cool Indian sculpture they got in the park also guys. The 1937 WPA 1938. And here is the statue. Here's the sculpture. That's pretty cool. Now that's a pretty cool roadside attraction. It's probably got to be the smallest chapel I've ever seen. This is pretty cool. All the stained glass window. And this is the inside of the small chapel. He asked, I told him he could. <laughs> Don't yell at him. <laughs> yeah, I asked before. This is pretty cool. Yeah, you turn the light on. Well, it don't help much now, does it?
And I was driving by here, and I'm like, that is a small chapel. <laughs> the bugs have taken over right now, but we'll get them out here pretty soon. Just... This is really neat. We actually use it. Oh, do you really? Yeah. We use it I for, love this. For prayers. So did somebody hand carve this? Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Here's a... Here, so you a little bit more on it there. I give it to them. Okay. Yeah, we've had people traveling from all over the place to come visit this. Yeah, I've came from uh, Grand Rapids and. Look at them bugs. Wow. We was just in your back in the mall two days ago. Lots of bugs. They don't last long though. They last for about two weeks and then they're gone again. So Japanese beetles. So whose idea was to build this? Uh, mine indirectly what happened is i had a dream one night and i uh i woke up laughing my wife says what's wrong with you she thought i was going nuts uh -huh. i said i dreamed god was talking to me and he wanted me to build him a church <laughs> i said i wow. can't even afford to put up a garage you know but uh but then we were having coffee here and you know he didn't say how big it had to be i can build a small one so that's right what, that's why i built it <laughs> He's got a plan for you and yeah. stuff. So the all the neighbors come down here when they're going for surgery or whatever. They stop in, do their prayers, and then come back and say thanks afterwards. This is so neat. We've had a a few pastors actually stop in and visit it, and um, we're listed in Roadside America. Uh, that's where I saw that. Oh, that? Oh, yep. All right. You don't find them this size anywhere. There's actually no. visible. They've, they've got some that are a little bit smaller, but you could, they don't have room to sit down or anything in them. And they're mostly like for looks or something. Yeah, and yeah. Well, we've had uh, Pastor uh, Robert Jones was in here and actually did a little service on it using the Oh, that's and neat. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've had uh, Boy Scout group come out, or Cub Scout group come out for a tour of it. And churches have come out, of course. This is very cool. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great one. See you in my next one, guys. Thanks for watching.